Hello everyone, I'm Detective Brandy George with the Mesa Police Department. This critical incident community briefing will provide you with information about an officer involved shooting that occurred here in Mesa. You are about to see relevant video footage and learn about evidence and police procedures related to this case so you can better understand what happened based on what we know right now. Mesa Police Department conducts thorough use of force investigations. Typically, investigators interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. These investigations take time to complete, which means things could change as additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. This video will not draw any conclusions about whether these officers acted consistent with our policy until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. In this video, we will be sharing our officers' body-worn camera videos, as well as 911 calls and any other surveillance video obtained as part of this investigation. We do want to warn you, anytime a police officer uses force, the images and information can be graphic, disturbing, and difficult to watch, and the video may contain strong language. Viewer discretion is strongly advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Detective Richard Encinas with the Mesa Police Department Media Relations Unit. Just before midnight on August 22nd, 2022, a woman called 911 and told the operator that she had just returned to her home on the 500 block of West 9th Street and noticed her front door had been compromised and she could hear someone inside. 911 emergency. Hello? 911 hello? emergency, do you need police fire? Yes, yes, hello. Listen, somebody broke, broke into my house. My door is kicked in and there's somebody inside. She advised the operator that she had an unsecured handgun in her kitchen. Yeah, and I usually have a weapon on me, but my weapons are, are my weapon is in the in the house. I left it in the What house. kind of weapon do you have in the house? It's a, it's a nine millimeter. The woman did not enter her apartment, but waited outside for officers to arrive. When officers approached the apartment, they began giving commands for the person inside to come out. Suspect in the back of unit one. This is the Mesa Police Department. Come out front with your hands up and empty. Officers saw a man, later identified as Abdul Basit Ishan, run from the apartment and try to force his way into a different Duncan, you want him uh, to the north side, jump in the wall now, going into the alleyway, going to be coming out southbound. Now jumping into the next uh, residence here, uh, just one south of where he was, back into that backyard. That balcony's trying the back door of that residence. The light's on that back porch. When he couldn't get in, he gained access to its attached exterior laundry room. Falcon, that team coming through the gate. He just went inside a uh, some sort of storage shed. After you come around that corner, it's directly to your right side. Yeah, Falcon, to that unit, if you guys want to hold right there, right around that corner, just give them verbal announcements. Officers surrounded that area and again gave commands. Based on the possibility that Ishan was armed and had access to the unit through the laundry room, they moved in closer. Ishan fired at least one round. The team backed off and called Chandler SWAT to assist. When the SWAT team arrived, they deployed a robot and a drone, both equipped with cameras. As you can see on this drone video, Ishan is hiding in the corner and has covered himself in blankets. Ishan points a gun outside of the blanket and fires at the drone. Ishan refused to exit and shot the drone and the robot. Here is video recorded by the robot. This is the Mesa Police Department. You need to come out now. We know where you're at. Come out with your hands up and put the gun down immediately.
This is the Mesa Police Department. You need to come out with your hands up now. We can see you. Come out with your hands up. SWAT officers then deploy gas into the laundry room. Okay, we, we will give you some water, man, but we cannot give you water if you're there. Again, come on out with your hands up and nothing in your hands, and we'll give you all the water that you need. After some time, Ishan agreed to come out. Despite clear instructions to keep his hands up, Ishan lowered his hands, pulled up his shirt, and reached toward his waistband. That is when the officer involved shooting occurred. Ishan was placed in custody and taken to the hospital. During the investigation, a black handgun along with multiple fired casings were recovered from the laundry room. Abdul Basit Ishan is facing more than two dozen felonies related to this case, including burglary in the first degree and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. All of the information and evidence will be turned over to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office for review. Thank you for taking the time to watch this critical incident community briefing.